This one is a 1971 Royal Custom 3. The color is red. I think it's the first red typewriter I've ever had. And it's nice and pretty. I would consider this one to be in excellent condition. It's got some scuffs on it from the case in here and in the back, but it still looks really pretty and it types really nice. So I'm gonna show you how to use all the functions and make sure they all work. To set the margins, it's got a magic margin on the top of each side and you just put it, the platen wherever you want it and you hit the magic margin, it'll set that margin exactly where you are. And if you want to scoot it over to the beginning, you just hold it and hold the carriage release behind the knob at the same time. And it'll allow you to move it wherever you want. And you just let it go when you're done and it'll set that margin. I like it at the beginning and the end of the page, just like it is now. I was almost able to fit all the letters on one line because this one has elite typeface which prints 12 characters per inch. I just have to hit this one more time to get it hit twice. So I'm gonna press the margin release and it'll allow me to get past the margin. Um, so what happens is when you get to the end of the margin, it won't allow you to type anymore. So that's what happened when I tried to finish that last letter. Um, so I hit the margin release and I finished. So when you get to the end of the margin, you hit the line space, it brings you back to the beginning of the next line, it skips one or two spaces. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you hit this down and you can use double space. Uh, so I was able to type all the letters on one line and none of them stick or skip. So I'm going to type a sentence in red on the next line. To get to red, you just flip this switch up on the right side here and there's a little red bar. Very nice type of machine. Probably lasts forever if you take care of it. Just a real nice, easy to type on machine. Royal always makes nice machines and the print looks really nice. It's really dark with this one. It almost feels like a brand new typewriter. I'm gonna show you how to use the rest of the functions. To pull the paper out easy, you flip this switch on the right here, forward. And it Loosens up the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper like card stock or carbon copy. It's got a backspace on the top left here. That works good. Shift on each side, shift lock. And to clear it, you just press the shift button again. It's got a column, which is the same thing as a tab and a magic column set and clear. So say you want to set a tab right there. You just hit that magic column set, go to the beginning of the margin, and hit column, and it'll stop at that spot that you set it. And to clear it, you hit that button there, column clear, and then it should clear it out so you have no tabs anymore. It's got a touch control on the left here, low, medium, and high. That just dictates the resistance when you hit the keys. Low means low resistance, high means high resistance. Just bounces back faster when you have it on high. Pop the hood open. And you got the spools in the ribbon direction changer. So right now we have all the brand new ribbon on this side. We want it to pull to that side, but it's pulling to this side. So we'll just flip that up. And now it's pulling clockwise to that side. And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy, search Brooksaw Antiques.